Okay, so my mom doesn't feel good today, so um, she wanted me to do all the talking, and she says she's very sorry for that, so she'll see you guys in her special date video, which she's super excited to make, because she's going to be making, like, gajar halwa, she's going to teach you guys how to make chai, like, the legit, like, Pakistani chai, and then uh, she's also going to teach you guys how to make pakoda and, like, gobi, um... Paratas, so if you guys have like leftover gobies, just you can use that. So um, this is what we have for today. This is the gobi aloo that somebody requested, and thank you so much for requesting it. Um, somebody also requested the special date video, which is going to be next, like we said. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, and once again, my mom wants to apologize for um, her not talking to you guys. She really does not feel good, and I guess we'll see you guys later. Have fun and enjoy the dinner or the dish. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by telling you what we're going to have in the gobi gobi uh, alu gobi gobi alu whatever you want to say we have one uh, gobi and this is cauliflower small gobi this is a small cauliflower this right here is potato and this is just one potato one big potato idaho potato and as you can see we've just kind of like sliced them in like french fry or french fries kind of a form you um just slice the cauliflower in the shape or in the similar form as uh, the potatoes just like slice them like this you don't want to just chop all over the place because that's going to make you look like you're crazy and psychotic. Coriander right here. Ginger. And we have the jalapeno, not jalapeno, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what peppers these are. These are just regular chili peppers, let's just say that. I'd say they're like three right here. We have half a spoon of salt, half a spoon of turmeric, half a spoon of um, black pepper. And then we have a spoon of uh, cumin seed. Better if you have fresh chopped garlic. We have one eighth of a cup of oil in the pan already, just uh, kind of getting hot, just heating up. Then we're going to go ahead and take our garlic powder and just sprinkle it right into the oil. Okay, so um, if you have fresh garlic, just try to get it a little brown. You don't want to have it like a regular, fresh, soggy kind. Just kind of fry it up a little bit. But if you have like uh, the powdered ones, then you already know that it's a bit cooked and uh, you don't want to like burn it to the intense point. So. Go ahead and um, throw in all your spices. And as you can see, it's like sizzling and just frying right there. So that means it's, it's cooking very fast. Go ahead and throw in the cauliflower potatoes. And then you just want to go ahead and mix it. And we're going to save um, the coriander, the peppers, and the ginger for a little later. We actually have this on high. This doesn't take up a lot of time. This doesn't have a lot of ingredients in it as well, um, but it's definitely very, very, very delicious. Uh, it gives You can really taste the garlic and the ginger in there once it's done. Okay, if you guys want it to be very, very soft, like if you want potatoes to be very soft, if you want um, the cauliflower to be very, very, very juicy and soft, then go ahead and put the lid on it so all the steam stays inside. But if you want it to be a little fried and uh, more like a grilled kind of a flavor, then just leave the... Um, the top off of it but we like it soft and very soggy and juicy and we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on it okay so it's been two minutes since we put the lid on it and we just we just took the lid off of it and now we're just gonna go ahead and stir it um because you do want to check up every like two minutes because you don't want it to like burn so when you have it you gotta stir every two minutes maybe a minute okay so this is how we have it at the um and, and this is before the coriander, the peppers, and uh, the ginger. So we're going to go ahead and pour that in in a minute. But this is how it looks. It's just like very soft, very juicy, not super grilled. Um, it's a little fried, <clears throat> but it's okay because the frying tastes really good. We did have it intense fried. So that was probably like <clears throat> one like, small piece of ginger. Ginger all depends on you. The coriander. Chili chitas la semra pakali spicy. And then chili is always, like we said, depending on your flavor. As you can see, we left some out as well. And then you just want to go ahead and mix that. So you don't have to really cook the peppers or <clears throat> the um, ginger in there. You're welcome for dinner tonight, guys. Okay, so we have the adwan seeds. Now, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of this on there, and this is how it looks. Just looks like, it looks a lot similar to the um, the cumin seeds, but this is just like very small. Okay. And if you guys have seen it, put this in your uh, foods, and it helps with the, um, this really helps out with the stomach. So if you, you're constipated, if you have stomach pain, if you're going through a lot of the cramps, this helps out. Like during your menstrual time, this really does help out a girl. 
or a guy. If you take this much every night, just like half a spoon, uh, if you take this much every night, you're not going to have any stomach problems because it'll just dissolve everything and, you know, break all the foods down and really help with everything. Alright guys, so this is the overall dish. It's super yummy, super delicious. This is a great way uh, to get your kids to eat. It has potatoes, so if they love potatoes, um, you can always throw in coriander. You can also throw in tomatoes, but we usually don't have tomatoes in there. We just like the simple coriander, peppers, ginger garlic, cauliflower, and then potatoes. Potatoes are like a must in all our foods. So this is just how it looks. It's very simple, very easy, and you can definitely make it if you're a college student as well since you guys know it doesn't take that long. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, and I guess we'll see you later or in our next video. Have fun!